all right hi everybody today i'm going to go through on tutorial 5 on question 2 you can pause the video as you read the question or you can just carry on with the video to see the solutions to this question so um the first part that i'm going to go through is on the formulas that will be used in this tutorial the first one will be to find the trim which is given at ta minus tf which is trim at half minus trim at forward and the second formula you need to know is to find the mean draft at midship, which is obtained by TA plus TF divided by 2. The next formula you need to know is to find your trim uh, red at your LCF, which is um, if your LCF is at aft of midship, then you will use this formula. But if your LCF is at forward of midship, you will use this formula here. So in this case, your LCF is actually at aft of midship of the vessel since it's here. So you will use this formula here. And the last formula that you need to know is in order for equilibrium to occur, your LCB minus LCG times displacement must be equal to 100 times T times MCD 1 CM. So normally you are required to find your LCG from this formula here. So um, let's go on with the solutions to this question. Uh, this is a table that was given in your question itself. I just put it here for easy reference. And the given value for your trim at up and trim at forward. So since your trim at up and forward is given, you can actually find your trim, which is TA minus TF, sub in the values and you will get 1.288 meters. The second step is to find your mean draft, which is TA plus TF divided by 2. And in this case, just sub in the values again and you will get your answers to be 10.359 meters. And you, you, you have to use interpolation to find your LCF at the trim at 10.359 because your draft at 10.359 is not given the values here. So you have to use interpolation to find your LCF at 10.359. And in this case, after interpolating, I will get my answer to be 96.48 meters. So uh, at 10.359 meters, my LCF is 96.48 meters. And since my LCF is at aft of midship of the vessel, I will use the formula T1, which is equals to TM plus L over 2 minus LCF times T over L to get the uh, T1 to be 10.4 meters. So T1 is actually red at uh, your red at your um, hydrostatic LCF draft. So um, T1 is 10.4 meters. So um, since your 10.4 meters is actually in the table itself, you are, you are just required to just back out all the values for your displacement. And in this case, you can answer the first part of the question, which is 38,000 tons. And the next step is for you to find your MCT1CM. Hence, your, you have to know your BML value, which also given in this table again. So, you'll take 400 meters times your displacement over 100 times L, and you'll get your MCT1CM to be 737.86 meters. Last but not least, in order for your equilibrium to occur, your uh, you have to get LCB minus LCG times displacement equals to 100 times T times MCT1CM. And just sub in all the values that you have gotten and you get your LCG to be 98.5 meters half perpendicular. You are required to state whether it's at half perpendicular or full perpendicular in your tutorial or in, your, in any of your examination questions. Um, and yeah, that's about all. Thank you.